In this example, all we simply want to do when you guys are doing composition of inverse functions is just evaluate from the inside out. So evaluate cosine of pi over 4. Well, cosine of pi over 4 is right here. Since I know my unit circle, I know that's square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, I know that cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, right? So let me just maybe write that up top. Cosine of pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. So now I'm dealing with cosine inverse of square root of 2 over 2. So then what angle of theta gives me square root of 2 over 2 in the first and the second quadrant based on the constraints? Well, pi over 4. So the inverse of cosine of pi over 4 is just pi over 4. Wow, so that wasn't bad. It's the exact same angle, right? I can kind of handle those questions. Can you give me more of them, right? Um, but we got to be careful because that's not always the case, all right? The, co the, inverse and the, the inverse and the function aren't always going to undo each other. That's simply because we have these restrictions on the domain. So let's look at an example where that's not going to be the case. Exact same idea, but now let's look at cosine of 5 pi over 4. So if here's pi over 4. Here's pi over 4. That means this is pi over 4. Oops, let me, let me look at that angle there. That's pi over 4. So again, we know halfway around the circle is pi. In terms of force, is 4 pi over 4. If we go an extra pi over 4, that means we're at 5 pi over 4, right? Now, since I'm using these reference angles, all you guys can see is all this is is a reflection about the origin, reflection about the y-axis, reflection about the x-axis. So therefore, this coordinate point, that's for 5 pi over 4. Do you guys know what the points are? Is it like 7 and 2, or 3 and 5? Or is it negative square root of 2 over negative square root of 2? Yeah. Yeah. It's, the same, it's the same coordinate. It's just a reflection. Do you guys see that? All I'm doing is reflecting the point over the y-axis, negative x, reflected over the x-axis, negative y. So it's negative square root of 2 over 2, comma negative square root of 2 over 2. And again, this works. Um, sorry, this, uh, again, this works knowing using these kind of reference angles. So therefore, uh, the cosine of 5 pi over 4 is cosine, inver oh, sorry, cosine of 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Do you guys agree? OK, so then where we go to cosine inverse of negative square root of 2 over 2. Now we want to evaluate what, it, what angle gives us negative square root of 2 over 2. Well, we know that pi over 4 gives us square root of 2 over 2, but we want to find it's negative. So when is it negative? Well, that point is only going to be negative here. Sorry, that's positive. It's only going to be negative here and here. But did this angle meet their domain restrictions of cosine? No, because no, it's in the third quadrant. Domain restrictions is the first and the second, right? So that means it has to be this angle. So if halfway around the circle is 4 pi over 4 and we're pi over 4 short, that means we're at 3 pi over 4. So that was easy and nice, but it's not always the case. Okay? Because